Hello everyone and welcome to Monday, and what a Monday it has been. Uh, let me tell you a few quick things. We've been trying to catch up on sleep because our sleep schedule, uh, well it's not our sleep schedule, it's just our, we've had a huge lack of sleep because of um, trying to work super super hard on everything and then also going to visit the meal and coming back and going through the holidays and then going through uh, people visiting or us visiting them and uh, Pathfinder and all of these different things from last week have really been affecting the amount of sleep that we could get. So we've been sleeping in. We did that today as well. We got up at 2 p.m. We had a lot of work to do today. A lot of work because we've been trying to release a bunch of videos in December and we've been doing very well. As of this moment in time, we've released 99 videos in December, which is incredible. So it looks like we're going to meet our mark or get really, really close to it. But the other day, Jeremy said that on Tuesday, him and a bunch of his friends were going to go see the new Hobbit movie, wanted to know if I wanted to come. And I was like, that would be fine, except for the fact that we haven't seen the second Hobbit movie. We saw the first one back in 2012 when it came out. In fact, we drove three hours away to Columbia because they were showing it in 48 frames a second, and we wanted to see it in 48 frames a second because it was new and unique, blah, blah, blah. There's a vlog on that if you want to hear my thoughts on it in 48 frames a second. So I said, well, I wouldn't mind going to see the third film, but I want to see the second film first. So, we looked up online, and apparently Redbox sells Blu-rays now, which I didn't know, and that's what we did today. We worked a ton. We went out and got the Redbox Desolation of Smog Blu-ray, and then we watched it. Now, here's the only problem. Uh, we worked a lot, and we had a lot to do before we could actually get started on watching this film. And we worked until about 4 a.m., which means we didn't start the film until 4 a.m. on Tuesday. That means, yes, it is now 7.30 a.m. and the credits are scrolling. Filmed on location in New Zealand and at Stone Street, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So it's been a very interesting day. And we're kind of having an, an early morning Hobbit film. <laughs> That's what it happened. I mean, we thought it was going to be a nighttime thing, but no, we started at 4 in the morning and, and we actually watched the film finish as the sun was coming up. It was a different experience for certain. But tomorrow, we're going to be watching a Hobbit film probably at night. So we're getting ready to go to bed because we are totally wiped out. We got all the videos done. They're actually exporting now, so I'm not really sure I'm going get to get them all up and, and scheduled. But um, we're getting ready to go to bed now, and then we're pretty much going to wake up tomorrow, and then shortly after we wake up, we'll be going to watch the third Hobbit film. Yeah, life's never, never, never has a dull moment. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you've seen the, the second or third Hobbit film, let me know, I guess, what you thought of it. I liked it. I thought it was, I thought it was good. I'm excited to see the third one. They are, they're very grandiose, epic films, and um, it'll be interesting to see what happens in this third one. But I'm also, like, s super, super tired, so we'll talk more about this tomorrow. Let's meet back then, shall we? because he has learned so much in such a short amount of time and his photography proves it. Like, he is an astounding photographer and I don't think you guys have to look at too many photos to realize that he is very deserving of this award. He's going down fast, he's dead. Seven seconds? How did you manage that? I hit him twice. I was just doing my up A in the air. The up A is incredibly powerful. It's pretty, pretty great. 